what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel now look at this nice and beautiful olympia question we have on the board and it says 3 to the power of m minus 2 to the power m is equal to 65 we have to look for the value of m now take this into consideration what we have on this bracket it says m is an element of natural numbers I believe we know what natural numbers are. Natural numbers are positive integers from zero to infinity. Although some mathematicians include zero, but natural numbers are not negative numbers and they are not fractions. So with that in mind, let's see what we can do about this question. This is three to the power of M minus two to the power of M equal to 65. Now, you know, there is something I can do about this. I want to make this expression difference of 2 square. So let me do that real quick. So this is going to be 3 to the power of m. I want to make it to be a square. But I can't just introduce square to it. So in order to validate it, I'll have to divide the 2 by 2. Are you seeing that? Very good. I'll do the same thing here. Minus. Now I'm going to be putting 2 to power m. Because I need difference of 2 square, I'll be putting a square, but dividing it by 2. Hmm? You know, when I divide by 2, it's still the same thing as I have here. That is it. So equal to 65. Now I want to apply some trick here. I want to use this power inside to multiply this power outside. Now. In order for me to do that, I'm going to be applying the law of indices, which says whenever I have a base A raised to power M, and this M is raised to another power outside N, we are to write down the base and multiply the power M times N. So let's apply the same trick here. This is 3 to power. Now watch. I'm going to be leaving this numerator. But I'll be multiplying just the denominator. So when m multiplies the denominator, it's going to give you m over 2. So this is what I have here on this bracket. And now this is raised to the power 2 minus. The same thing will happen here. So I have 2 to the power of m over 2 over uh, to the power of 2. That is it. So the same thing that happens here will also happen here. Are you seeing that? So equal to 65. So ask yourself, do I have the difference of 2 squared now? Yes, because this value is squared and this other value is squared. And now I have difference in between them. So this is difference of 2 squared. So how do we express difference of 2 squared? Uh, to express difference of 2 squared is when I have, for example, x squared minus y squared, which is difference of 2 squared. This can be expressed as x plus y and x minus y. Very good. So now we're going to be expressing this one like this. So let's do that real quick. So I'm going to be opening a bracket. So I'll open a bracket here. x. x is what I have on this bracket that is raised to power 2. And that is 3 to power m over 2. So write that down. 3 to the power of m over 2. So that is my x plus y plus y. What is my y? y is what I have on this bracket that is raised to power 2. And that is 2 to power m over 2. So write it down. 2 to power m over 2. So I'm going to be closing the bracket now. That is it. Now notice that what I have on this other bracket is the same as what I have on this bracket. The only difference is the sign. This one is plus and this other one is minus. So let's do the same thing. Open another bracket. Write the same thing as 3 to the power m over 2. But the sign will be different. So this one will be minus 2 to the power of m over 2. So we'll close our bracket equal to 65. Very good. Very good. We are really doing well. Now I have a factor on this bracket multiplying another factor to give 65. So that means I need to split this 65. So what are the factors of 65? Please note, these factors must be 
natural numbers. So let's go. So we have uh, 1 times 65 is going to give me 65. And I have 13 times 5 is also going to give me 65. So let's use that first. 13 times 5 is going to give me 65. And even 65 times 1 is going to give me 65. So these are the two factors we have for 65. So let's try this one first. This first one. So I'm going to be calling this case 1. So let's do that. So this is in a bracket. I have 3 to the power m over 2 plus 2 to the power m over 2 in a bracket. In another bracket, 3 to the power m over 2 minus 2 to the power m over 2 equal to. Now I'm splitting this as the 5 now to be 13 times 5. Are you seeing that? Very good. Now, there is something you need to take into consideration. One of these factors is going to represent one factor here, and the other factor will be representing the other factor. That is it. But which one will be representing which? Uh, you know, the one carrying a plus, if you compare these two factors, the one carrying a plus is usually greater than the one carrying a negative. So that means I'm trying to say that uh, this 3 to the power m over 2 plus 2 to the power m over 2 is greater than this other one. 3 to the power m over 2 minus 2 to the power m over 2. Are you seeing that? So if this is greater, that means I'm going to be choosing this one and be pairing it to the larger value. I'll be picking this one and be pairing it to the smaller value. So now let's continue. All right, so let's take this factor, which is 3 to the power m over 2 plus 2 to the power m over 2 and equate it to the larger value, which is 13. And take this other one carrying a minus, which is 3 to the power m over 2 minus 2 to the power m over 2 and equate it to the smaller value, which is what? 5. So I'm going to be writing 5 there. So I have two equations. This is one equation. So let's call this equation 1. And there's another equation. Let's call this equation 2. Very good. So now let's subtract. I'm going to be subtracting equation 2 from equation 1. So let me rule a line. All right, let's go. So 3 to the power m over 2 minus 3 to the power m over 2 is gone. Now let's come to this other one. 2 to the power m over 2 minus minus, double minus means plus. So 2 to the power m over 2 plus 2 to the power m over 2 will give me 2 of 2 to the power m over 2. Are you seeing that? Very good. Equal to 13 minus 5 is going to give me 8. Now, in order to make this one a subject, I'm going to be dividing both sides by 2. So divide the left hand side by 2. Divide the right hand side by 2. Now notice, the 2 here will cancel off, leaving behind 2 to the power m over 2. Equal to 8 divided by 2 is going to give me 4. Now, 2 to the power m over 2 will be equal to... Now, 4 is a perfect square, which means I can raise 2 to the power 2 to give me 4. Now, the base on the left and the base on the right are equal. So since they are equal, I'm going to be equating powers. So I'll equate powers. So let's do that real quick. The power on the left is m over 2. And the power on the right is what? 2. Now cross multiply. When I cross multiply, m is going to give me 2 times 2, which is what? 4. So I've got the value of m here to be equal to 4. So let's try for the other case we have. This is the other case we're talking about. So case 2, which is for 65 times 1. So let's go there. I'm going to be picking this. But in place of 65, I'm going to be putting 65 times 1. Very good. So now this is our case 2 where we are going to be using 65 times 1. So I'm going to be taking this first factor, which is 3 to the power of m over 2 
plus 2 to the power of m over 2 and I'll be equating it to the larger value which is 6 to 5 and I'll take this other factor which is 3 to the power of m over 2 minus 2 to the power of m over 2 and I'll be equating it to the smaller value which is 1 so in this case I'm going to be adding so now let's add 3 to the power of m over 2 plus 3 to the power of m over 2 is going to give you what? It's going to give you 2 of 3 to the power of m over 2. That's it. Now, 2 plus times minus is minus. So, 2 to the power of m over 2 minus 2 to the power of m over 2 is gone. So, I'm having equal to 65 plus 1. It's going to give you 66. Now, in order to remove these two here, so that I'll make this one the subject, I'll be dividing both sides by 2. So, I'll divide the left-hand side by 2. I'll also divide the right-hand side by 2. Now, notice, 2 divided by 2 is gone, leaving behind 3 to the power of m over 2. Equal to, now, 66 divided by 2 is going to give you 30. Three. Very good. So now, is there any way I can raise a number to a power to give you 33? Nah, there's no way. Uh, that means that if I have to solve this question, I'll need to take the logarithm of both sides. And in the end, the value for m is going to be a fraction or decimal. But you know, decimal or fraction is not a natural number so because of that I didn't see any solution for M here for our question not that there is no solution but for this particular question we has a, which has a condition that M is a natural number there we don't have solution here so the only solution we have is the one we got M to be equal to 4 let me show you real quick which is this one here. So the only solution we have is m equal to 4. Well, I believe that you have learned something from this video. Well, if you really learned something from this video and you enjoyed it, please do not hesitate to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And until next time, take care.